Hey guys, what's going on? And welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna be checking out my personal selection of my pencil pouch and whatever's inside it, aka pens and pencils and highlighters and whatnot. So, without further ado, let's begin. Okay, first of all, we're gonna be checking out the pouch itself. And this is nothing fancy, it just gets the job done. This is your basic, like, what, 25 rupee pouch. And as you can see, it's fine. It opens and closes perfectly. It has a little divider in there. So, yeah, this is my pouch. I am going to be using my personal rough note in order to test these pens and pencils and highlighters and whatnot. So, let's begin the test. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to be testing out my... Emerald green Jotek. So as you can see, this Jotek pen is made by the company Rorito. This is a very popular company for pens and pencils in India. Literally everyone has a Rorito pen in India. If you want, you can go ask any Indian. Right, Indians? So I am going to write Rorito. Jotek Gel As you can see the writing is very neat and It doesn't smudge at all and this pen for looks and feel is really nice It is a sleek pen and it's only 40 rupees as well the writing experience is amazing the clicking is satisfying and Yeah, this is an amazing pen Next up is Flair's Inky Fountain Ink Pen. And this is a white color because it looks slick. And yeah, let's check out the writing experience. I am going to write Flair. Okay, as you can see, the writing experience is nice. But the pen feels a little scratchy when I write, so that's a bit of a letdown. But still, this is an amazing pen. Looks-wise, it is just magnificent. This pen looks amazing. If you ask anyone how this pen looked, they would have given it like a 10 out of 10 easily. So, I am a huge fan of this pen. Okay, so next up, I have an Octane pen. This is quite literally the most common pen you will ever find. It's only 10 rupees. It looks nice and writes nice. However, I have used this pen a bit too much, so I can write with it. But as you can see, if I open it up, just give me a second. <sighs> the refill is pl practically empty. I've only used this pen for a month. And I've only written a few pages with it. So I don't know what the problem it, with it is. And yeah. But it's a really nice pen. And I reckon you try it at least once. Okay. For this testing round. I am actually going to be testing two things at once. Because. Well. They're both highlighters. And they're both made by Faber Castle. Which is an amazing company. And this is probably the best highlighter you'll ever find in India. Just look. It's smooth. Nice bright and amazing as you can see i drew one line with the orange highlighter and now i'm gonna draw one line with the neon highlighter the neon one however is probably better because it is much 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 lighter much shinier much easier to see and the orange one however they are both amazing and let's move on to the next round okay for the next round i am gonna be doing these two pen pencils this one doesn't have any lead i should probably buy some lead but i'm too lazy to buy lead so i'm just gonna talk about it this pen is actually really special because i bought this in thailand when i went in december of 2022 for a holiday and basically this pen pencil is just really nice and really cool because you can untwist the tip which is really cool look at that most other pen pencils don't do that, but this one does, and that's why I like it. It's amazing, and it writes nicely as well. Now, this pen. Pencil. Whoops. As you can see, this is not normal like other pen pencils. You can't twist it, nor can you click it. So you might be wondering, how does the leg come out then? 
Well, it's from this little doodad over here. You can just click out the lid like that. And it's really, really satisfying. That's one of the main reasons I bought this. The other reason is that it looks amazing. And guess what? If I go really close up. Just give me a second. If you go close up like that. You can see whenever I click it. It actually moves inside itself. And it really shows that. Which makes it a thousand times better. So this is one of my favorite things in my pouch. Because it's satisfying. And it's cool. Moving on to the next round. Okay, next up, we have a pretty special pen. Now, this may just look like an ordinary ball pen, but it is much more than that. So, it is made of really nice plastic. It feels amazing because it is actually from a hotel. And everybody knows hotel pens are super nice to hold and feel and look. As you can see, whoops, this is from Springboard Hotels, which is, oh, 91 Springboard. I don't know what this is, but it's from a hotel. And it's really nice pen, as you can see. Hoi hoi's. So yeah, I just wrote hi, as you can see. Um, I'm just gonna scribble. It's really nice pen, and it's amazing. So yeah. Moving on to the next item. Next up, we've got one of, if not my favorite pen of all of these. This is the Pilot V5 High Tech Point 0 0.5 pen. This pen is so, so, so good. It's so smooth, so slick. Design's quite nice. And the cool perk about it is you can actually see the ink here. It is a really cool pen and yeah but there is one big problem with it it's not too durable as you can see i bought this pen not much long back the ink is still there but the tip of the pen is actually broken off which is kind of sad because well i had to spend another 70 rupees on buying this pen so that's a bit of a waste of money but the reason this broke is because I dropped it like five times. Then I started writing and it just popped off. Like it just came off. There has so far been no ink leakage or anything like that from this broken pen. But it's kind of a shame that it's broken. So without further ado, let's write something with this. I'm going to write subscribe. Which you should definitely do because if you did not already make sure you hit that like and subscribe button so that you can like and subscribe and i can get more views and yeah also comment down below what videos you would like to see next so yeah let's move on to the last two pens next up we've got a fatter beefier version of the v5 because this is also from pilot has a similar-ish design, and this is the V7, with a 0 0.7 millimeter lead, as you can see there. And as you can see, the tip is quite thick, actually. I'm not even lying. Look at that. As you can see. I'm just going to write something like, Hoi. As you can see, the writing is quite nice. However... The writing is much, much, much thicker on this pen, which is a bit of a letdown. But if you like thick handwriting, then I would really recommend this pen because it is amazing. But I prefer more thin handwriting, like the V5. So if you would ask me which one I would pick between these two, I'd probably go for the V5. But the V7 is also amazing. Okay, now it is our final pen. Here's your round of applause. In three, two, one. Okay, I'm about to reveal the final pen in three, two, one. Psh, here it is. The Parker Vector something, something, something fountain ink pen. So if I open it up, first of all, as you can see, this has a really nice steel back. And it's really sturdy. This is very high quality plastic. And amazing steel over here. The top has some black part. I don't know why that's there, but sure. Now, before I write, I want to show you a little something. Let's just zoom into the tip for a bit, like so. 
<coughs> let's get that super zoom in. Now, I don't know if it's focused properly. There we go. It is a bit different to other fountain pens. It's actually very different. First of all, the back has a little pocket engraved over there. And there's only some ink in the back. So that's not a huge letdown. There will be a few drops of ink in the back. But it's fine. Deal with it. And as you can see, we have a plastic little ink keeper there. Because, like, there's literally no ink leakage. There's only this amazing tip. And there's that. Plastic nook thing. Some reason it says F. I don't know why. Maybe it's predicting your grades. Low. But, yeah, it says F for some reason. Now, <laughs> let's talk about design. This is probably one of the best designs on a pen ever. Because, well, 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 there is a more amazing high-quality steel over here. And it's really amazing because, well, I sweat a lot. I don't know about you. Most people sweat a lot. And this is the perfect anti-sweat thing. I've tried so many pens to help relieve my sweat. And this, ladies and gentlemen, this is the pen that's won me. Look, it's so cold to the touch. And no matter how much you sweat, your, fin your fingers will never slip. And it'll always feel grippy and nice. So, yeah, without further ado, let's write. So, as you can see, this has a really nice smooth feel. But has a bit of a similar writing to the V7, as you can see right there. <coughs> um, but the thing is, it doesn't smudge much. But you have to wait for like 5 seconds there. So it's smudging not a problem. Writing is pretty nice. But all of this epicness comes at a cost. This pen right here costs about 400 rupees. Which is quite a lot. Because that's like, what, $6 I'm pretty sure. I don't know, the conversion rate keeps changing. But like, that is quite expensive for a pen. So this is probably not going to take the number one spot in this video. The number one pen... In this video, in this whole entire video, is this, the V5. This pen is just way, way, way too good. And the number one pen pencil in this video, probably the black one, because it's slick, has that cool mechanism in there, and it's nice. And it's also much cheaper than this. This was like 400, I forgot to mention that. Between the highlighters, probably the neon one, because it's more highlighty and brighter. And why catching? So, yeah. Now what? Well, well, well. If you want to see more videos like this, then make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on post notifications to be notified for next videos. Catch you in the next one. Hold up, I'm just kidding. There's one more part. Okay, so if you're wondering how I kept my video stable for this long, well, it's all thanks to this DJI gimbal right here. This is the Gimbal Free, and it's amazing. Now, without further ado, let's continue with the winners of this video. First of all, for the pens, we've got the V5. This is just so freaking good, I can't have enough of it. Next, for the pen pencils, we've got the black one. It's just nice, slick, and I absolutely love that mechanism thing going on there. It's really nice, and yeah. Now, finally, for the highlighters, doesn't really matter. I like the neon one better, though. And, yeah, catch you in the next one. But hold up! Since you waited this long, I have a little teaser for you. For my next long-form video, I am going to be doing a What's in My Tech Bag video. Because I like tech, and, yeah. I use, as my main camera, my iPhone 14 Pro. I'm going to talk more about my tech in the next one. Catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.